Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Dirt and Iron. You asked me in the comments how to start a dirt bike. So in this video, I want to show you how I start my two-stroke dirt bikes when they are cold and when they are hot. So stick around. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Hit that button below, jump on the board. I have new video each week and I'll do my best to keep you guys motivated. And don't forget to hit the notification button so you can get notified every time there is new video out. So first of all, when you are going to start a cold two-stroke dirt bike, you need to turn on your gas. Once you have that, uh, your bike needs a choke. I really like how uh, English language uses the word choke. It's very self-explanatory, right? <laughs> choke. So once you turn the choke on, that means that you are cutting the air for your carburetor. So once you turn the choke on, there is a very limited amount of air coming in. So there is a lot of fuel going into a cylinder. So it's very easy to start your dirt bike when it's cold. So this is my KTM 250 that I rode about a week ago. Uh, I'm gonna start it, turn the gas on, pull the choke up. I'm not touching the throttle. Once the choke is up, you're not supposed to touch your throttle until the bike is running and uh, idling okay. Then turn off your choke and then you're okay to go for a gas. So let's go for it. So here's your peacock. That's how you turn on your fuel, put it down, and there is your choke. Pull it up, it's supposed to stay like that. Turn it off, on. Now we're ready to kick. All right, so I'm not touching anything. Bike is running on a choke. Leave it like that for about 10-15 seconds. Put the choke back in. Give it a little bit blip. Once your bike is warm, it should start very easily. Every time, uh, first or second kick again. But uh, when I start my two stroke when it's warm, I give it a little bit gas. As I kick, I just give it a little bit gas and the bike starts right up. Now it's very important how you kick it. Some people, some beginners, uh, they don't know how to kick the bike. So if you want to kick it, let me show you. You want to put the weight on the kickstarter, find your top end right here. And then you, from here, you just push it down. Push it on strong. You don't want to be doing this. You know, I, I see some guys, they are jumping on the Kickstarter. And if they jump and they get resistance, they will slow down. You want to put your weight on the Kickstarter and then just kick your weight down, just like this. Starts every time, see? Just push it down, put your weight all the way to the down of a stroke. Did you hear that little run? I just gave it a little bit of gas, not even one quarter, just a little bit of gas. Let's do it again. Find the top. Don't, don't, start, don't start from here. Always come back so you have that full stroke. All right? So put a weight on it, find your top. every time. Alright, so one YZ 125 hasn't been running for three months. I turn, turn the choke on, the gas is on, and I'm gonna kick it over. Now, I'll keep kicking without a gas, without a throttle, until the bike starts. Alright, so here's your petcock, here's your choke. Turn your fuel on, pull the choke up, just like that, down, up, you're good to go, ready to kick. Remember, it didn't run for a long time, so I'll keep kicking.
All right, guys, hopefully you find this video helpful. If you like it, you know what to do, hit the like, subscribe, and don't forget, whatever you do, stay motivated. See you guys later.